So recently, Peter Hoare uh, published an article on our site which um, deals with a phenomenon that I think a lot of guys wrestle with, the whole idea of the pursuit of, of happiness. But what he kind of talks about, which is interesting, is he goes in from hearing an anecdote about a guy who was talking about how he was content, but not necessarily happy. Let me repeat that. He was content, but not necessarily happy. And I think there's a fundamental difference there. And I can speak to this with a little bit of personal experience. You know, I've, I've been content in my life. I, I changed jobs not too long ago in my life because I realized I, I, I wasn't necessarily pursuing something that I was deeply passionate about. And I was kind of just going through the motions. I figured this is kind of what it is. You're supposed to go through life and if you're not miserable, well then you're, you're okay. And I think people, you know, most people in life don't necessarily have too many options. So I don't wanna say that this is easy for everyone to attain. I think some people might just have to settle for being content and that's not such a bad thing. I mean, Peter talks a little bit about the idea of, of settling and I think some people uh, may have a different standard for that. But if you have the option, if you're looking at your day to day and you say, okay, well, this is not so bad, but I know deep inside that I want more. I think that's the level of difference we're talking about here. You're content with your situation because you're not challenging yourself that much anymore. But you know somewhere deep inside, you're not fully happy. You haven't done everything you can to kind of reach down deep and go for that absolute pursuit of happiness. Once I did that, once I made that transition, I, I can speak with a lot more clarity of kind of what that means. And there's an old cliche that if you do something that you love every day, you don't ever work a day in your life. Now, I'm sure whoever watches some of the videos we do here and looks at what we do online probably thinks we have you know, a pretty great job. There are other people that look at it and say, I would never want to do that. But the fact is that here, you know, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of energy of people working, doing something that they like. And that's about being happy. I don't think everyone has afforded the luxury of having a job that they love. I want to be want to be very clear about that. But this isn't just about work. It's about kind of a whole all-encompassing persona that you're creating as you go through your day to day. If you find yourself kind of going through the motions and maybe you need to just set some new goals or, or find some new challenges in your life that aren't just on the professional side. But if you've just found yourself constantly telling everybody, yeah, you know, things aren't too bad, then you may need to ask yourself exactly what that means. And are you really in a place where you're truly happy? And if you're not, well, then maybe it's as easy as changing your job or changing your relationship or changing your habits. But there are things you could do to ultimately change to go out there and actually, well, be happy.